What's up, y'all? It's your boy G World back with another story time. This one I know most people can relate to. I'm sure at least at one point in your life you got chased by a dog. This is about 10 years ago. I, but, uh, yeah, back in the days I used to always go outside with my with my uh with my siblings or whatever i said siblings <laughs> with my siblings my sister and my two brothers this time it was just me it was just my older sister and my younger brother we was in the back we used to always like we had a basketball court in the backyard so we used to always go out there and like hoop or whatever and like play 21 or do play kickball any type of sport that we could do in the backyard we did it we played football all that and we had this neighbor it was this white older lady she was so nice like she used to she used to know my every time she see me she used to like wait say hi jr blah 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 and he used to ask me how i'm doing and all that so yeah well me my sister and my, my little brother in the backyard we used to always like hoop or whatever and like whenever the ball went to the next yard like we would either hop the gate try to hurry up and get the ball and come back before anybody noticed or we would just leave it there <laughs> if we didn't feel like getting it the main reason why we used to hop the gate and try to hurry up and run back it wasn't really because we didn't care we, we cared if anybody noticed it was because they had freaking four like four dogs like three grown ones and then this one little like little I think it was like a Yorkie. It was like a, a white little furry dog that did, and it was always it was always the most vicious out of all of them. Then it had a a, a golden retriever. It was like a full grown golden retriever. I'm talking about. I'm ten years old. This dog head is up to my chest. There was a a Rottweiler. Rottweiler a little bit taller than the golden retriever. They had, that Rottweiler was the fucking scariest thing of my life. Because whenever that shit barked, I swear to God, my heart dropped. But yeah, they had those. And they all came out at the same time playing around. And it seemed like they always came out when we were in the backyard. Whenever the dogs were in, like, paying attention, which I hopped the gate, get whatever we threw over there, and come, like, hawking it back. Like, <laughs> we used to hit ghosts whenever we seen them dogs notice us. And then just hop the gate and uh, go back to playing whatever we was playing. This time my sister was out there, so so this time we in the backyard. They out there. I think was playing like, we was playing like baseball or something. We had we were playing like baseball or something with a tennis ball. <laughs> and at some point one of us hit it like over like to the next yard or whatever, and the dogs was out there. And this time these dogs was lurking. I'm talking about they was on each. Like they was spread like they was spread out throughout the yard. So it was no way to catch them like slipping. Like if we jumped over there, if one wasn't looking, the other one was. Yeah, we ended up hitting the ball over there. So we sat in there for about like five minutes trying to think of how we gonna get our ball back. Like who should jump over there and go run and get the ball. Let me tell you this. Out of all my siblings, I don't know why. I'm just now noticing this. But I was always the one that had to go do the dangerous stuff. Like if we had to like, like if the ball went on the roof or something, I always had to find a way to climb up there, get the ball, come down, find my way down. I, I was always the one that had to do it. I don't know why, but yeah, we came, we came to the decision that <laughs> I guess I got voted to uh to go get the boss so i'm like hell no i'm not about to set my set myself up and plus we normally like went over there when like our parents was at home or when we thought that the neighbors were at home or whatever so this time this was probably like on a saturday our parents home the neighbors we know they home because all their cars in the front so we were like damn we we can't even do this anyway so we was just like we might as well go to their front door and be like can can you just go get the ball for us or whatever that's what we decided to do. We started to walk in between our house and their house. Their gate is halfway, like their gate start halfway and then it leads to the back. And then they have, they also have like a white fence 
that goes towards the front, but it's like a gap in between. So I'm walking. My brother and my little my, my little brother and my sister, uh, my little brother and my older sister, walking along the white fence on our side of the yard. I cut through the gap. I'm thinking they're gonna follow me so we can all just go ask for the ball. But they was like, nah, just go, just go ask for the ball. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, whatever. I walk through the gap, walk through their yawn, I say yawn, lawn, and knocked on their front door. Waiting, waiting. So Missy Lane come walking up to the door. She was like, hey, JR, how's it going? I'm like, hey, how you doing? Uh, are we hit our ball into your yard. Can Is there any possible way that you can go get it or whatever? She was like, oh, yeah, sure, blah, 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 blah. So I'm thinking to myself, why, why don't we just do this every time? Like, why do we risk our life jumping over the gate and getting chased by a dog if we can just knock on the door and she'll go get the ball for us. So she was like, yeah, just hold on one second. So she walk away through her backyard. I'm still waiting at the door. So I see, mind you, my uh, my brother and my sister just looking at the, uh, just looking at me from our side of the uh, fence or whatever. So I'm guessing when she went to go get the ball, she let her dogs inside the house and i see the little white one like it just started running towards the door so i'm like this little nigga like he come running towards the door and come like leaning on the door just like scratching at it or whatever barking so i'm, and so I'm just holding the door because if you push it hard enough that door will open five seconds later i see the rottweiler just walking across from like their little kitchen area into the uh living room so i'm like oh shit like she gonna hurry up and get this fucking ball, and I didn't even tell her where the ball was, so she just she probably just looking randomly all over her yard to look for this little ass tennis ball. So I'm just holding the door, like hope, just praying that this dog don't see me at the door. So he comes walking back, sniffing, sniffing, looks up at me, and like with this crazy look, like what you doing, like nigga, what you doing here? So I'm like, oh my god. This dog started, whoo, 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 started running towards the door. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm 10 years old. This dog literally almost my height with me standing up and him on all fours. He's my height. So yeah, he running towards the door. I'm like, oh shit. So I'm, uh, the little dog still barking there. So I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So I back up. Like, this is literally what I did. I back up. I'm looking. I'm looking. That dog, boom, busts through the door. Door opens wide open. Like, you see the gate, like, falling and everything. Dog busts through the door. Felt like, started rolling in the grass. Next thing you see is the uh, the golden retriever running, running right after him, right out there. I'm like, and he sees me. I see him. I'm like, hell no. I just, all you heard was me saying, Help me! I'm it goes. I'm talking about that, that damn golden, that golden retriever on my heels. Literally, like I felt the paws hit the back of my Nike. I remember what shoes I was wearing. I was wearing Nike Air Max, Nike Air, whatever it was. I remember what they looked like. <laughs> this one I knew I was real fast because I outran a dog that was my height. But I'm running, I feel it nipping at my heels, and I see the, I look down, I see the golden, the golden fur. So I'm in ghost. I'm looking at them like, help me. I run, I'm running towards the back, cut through the gap of their gate, run towards our backyard. This dog still on my ass. <laughs> and we had like a little porch in our uh, backyard. So I hurry up and cut on the porch. And I guess he didn't see me. He just started like, he started running straight. And then, like, at that point, I was like, oh, he, like, this went, like, I just, I felt calm because the dog wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was. I guess he was just running to freedom because <laughs> after that, he just started sniffing around our backyard and he didn't care about us. At this point, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, yo, what the hell's going on? My dad, he came out. <laughs> he came out uh, to where the porch was, the little patio that I was on. And he was like, what, what, what's all that ruckus? Like, what's all that noise? He didn't say ruckus. He didn't even say ruckus. I don't know what the hell was I saying. But he was like, what's all that noise going on or whatever? 
And then I was like, that, the dog was chasing me. And then it was like, we're Tosh and Jonah, my, uh, my sister and my brother, we're Tosh, we're Tosh and Jonah. Next thing you see is Tosh walking up. Tosh is about four years older than me. Jonah's four years younger than me. Tosh come walking up, like, yo, like basically like, you okay? Or I forgot what she said, but she came walking up without Jonah. So my dad like, where Jonah? Why y'all leave Jonah? I'm like, I just got chased by a dog. Like, I'm not going to sit there and grab Jonah and be like, come on, Jonah. Like, nah, them niggas didn't even help me. <laughs> I'm running for my life. So we don't even know where Jonah at. She let me get chased by the dog, and then she left Jonah. <laughs> and my dad wondering where our little brother is at. I think Jonah was just at the uh, front door, I guess, knocking, and they let him in. I think that's what happened. I'm not too sure. We ended up getting our ball back. I don't even think we stayed outside after that. Like, I got... I just got done ch getting chased by the dog. I thought I was the fastest person in the world after that. But yeah, it was also embarrassing because I screamed that would help me. But I'm only like 10 getting chased by a dog that I'm thinking. When I see on movies, I see when dogs chase somebody, especially a black person, they bite them when they catch them. So I'm like, hell no, this dog ain't about to bite me. So <laughs> I hit ghost on that nigga. That's my story of how I got chased by a dog. I'm sure it wasn't the only time I got chased by a dog, but that's one of the the greater stories. So yeah, if you like this, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button because we love our subscribers, and look forward to plenty more. I'm sorry, I'm checking myself out. I like doing that in front of the camera, but yeah, please subscribe. And that's all, folks.